I was just watching Corey Anton's latest video. Um, I was going through the comment section, and Mr. Roboto too raised an interesting um, term that I'd never come across before. I'd come across the whole idea of it. It's the the, the term is um, qualia language. Now I always like to pronounce qualia qualia, although although I think most people call it qualia, but I don't know. I like calling it qualia for some reason. So forgive and indulge, please. Qualia language. What would that be? I always thought that that would be art or music or something else intuitive like that, which is kind of why um, it's so imprecise and so difficult to get at uh, linguistically, because language may not be equipped to do the same things, unless of course one goes into poetry or something, as art is, like descriptive things, like um, philosophical treatise that thick is not going to really give you an accurate description of the taste of a mouthful of honey. Um, you need something else for that. I've sort of hit upon the Eastern idea of Tantra to do all of this, to discuss one's qualia, to map out and navigate one's inner life. Now inevitably this ends up sounding something like religion when you do it and you run you run into a bit of a minefield when you engage in this kind of thing because you you might think that you're talking about something and the whole point of this right is to discuss one's or map out one's inner life. So you're going to attempt to discuss it with other people but because you're discussing the the experiential, you're discussing things at the level of the of, of qualia. You have to understand that you're discussing the undiscussable. There's a reason why you're using these tools, this strange language of symbols, art, music, poetry, this kind of thing. Uh, the reason for that is that language as such is meant to be precise and certain things you can't be precise about. How do you, how do you, how are you precise about qualia? Um, I just wanted to ask if anyone had ever come across this. He mentioned a particular author, Graziano. Went looking for that, couldn't find any. But I'm just sort of trawling as opposed to trolling. <laughs> trawling my net to sort of see if anyone has discovered or if anyone can lead me to um, anything that deals with qualia language. I'd like to understand, uh, or I'd like to get in touch with anybody who has dealt um, extensively in this sort of thing, and I'd like to see if there's a Western tradition of it. Um, we're discussing, uh, the, the, the point is a lot of Alan Watts' stuff and how he talks about consciousness and experience and everything like that. Um, I always get the impression from Alan Watts he was somehow frustrated by um, the limitations of language, and I guess he was kind of an academic, so he he was sort of boxed in by all of that. Um, but he seems to have come close when he's talking about the inner life and what consciousness means and all this kind of thing and the weird language he uses. Um, he was a Buddhist, of course, and for all with all that that implies. Um, is Buddhism a religion? Can be, not necessarily. Um, but has anyone come across this? Qualia language, qualia language in the Western um, view of things. <laughs>